Review your attitude. Review your spirit. Because the spirit produces the attitude. What is the attitude that you are displaying in the kingdom? What is the attitude that you are displaying in the kingdom? Is the spirit that is within you. If you are rude and bad, who are you? Whose daughter or whose son are you? Continue. Goodness, faith. Faith. Have you contributed to faith? Faith. Pagtuo. Huwag ani ka ng tong mausab ka. At sarway mo pagtuo. You don't even believe that you can be changed there. And all the tools of change are here. And some are not the masters of change. They are the victims of change. They don't want to change. If you cannot change for the better to become sons and daughters producing the fruits of the Spirit, you are never going to heaven. This ministry is a failure if I cannot produce sons and daughters for heaven. That's why this ministry continues to be like that. My ministry is uncompromising. My message is uncompromising. You have to grow. You have to grow to the third level to become sons and daughters. When you become sons and daughters, you will understand my message. Because there, in that level, there's no more murmuring. There's no more complaining. There's no more bitterness. There's no more resentment. It's just pure love, peace, and joy, dedicated, focus only in producing the fruits that will glorify the Father. Focus on the Word of God. Herein is my Father glorified that you bear much fruit, so shall you be my disciples. So He will know you. He will not know you. If you don't produce the fruits, how can you produce the fruits when you are fruitless yourself? Kung akay bunga ang kaugalingon nimo, ikaw mismo dili ka bunga, unsa ang nimo pagpamunga? Di ba? Practical ba? Does it make sense? Does the spiritual logic I am telling you make sense? It's very logical, isn't it? That's why the Bible, the Word of God of Jesus Christ is very logical is spiritually when you follow it without kurbatsur. Ang oban niya, murag lawas mga kuba. Di kay straight. Mo straight og gamay. Murag sakripisyo na kayo sa ilang butuman. Sakripisyo na kayo makig-unite. Magsakripisyo na kayo nga mahimong maayo. Kaya yung natural, mugawas yun kung huwag ka na born again. So you must be born again first. Look at the inventory of your spiritual investments. Have you truly repented? What is repentance? At ito na po na balik na po ta sa sinugdanan sa mga teaching sana. In the beginning, what is repentance? Not my will, but your will be done. That's why the sun is the standard. What the sun says, that is coming from the Father. It honors the Father. So, if you always question what the sun is saying, <laughs> who are you? You are not part of the body. You don't honor the sun. You will not produce fruit. How can you teach others about the fruits of the Spirit when you don't have the fruit of the Spirit yourself? Saan yung pagtudlo sa uban? Nga mamunga sila fruits of the Spirit. Love, peace, joy, unity, goodness, meekness, kindness. Saan yung pagtudlo sa ila? Because you cannot, you cannot give what you don't have. You're like a well. What is inside the well is the kind of water that you produce. And the kind of water that you produce is the kind of water you give. 
It's a bitter water. You can't produce sweet water from bitterness unless you change it. Diba? <laughs> Make sense, my brothers and sisters? Nasabtan mo ko ninyo? Dili tamo igala o gamigo kung kamo wa na usab. Ayaw. Basing nakapasar ka sa loyalty, waka kapasar sa obedience. Basing kapasar ka sa loyalty, waka kapasar sa repentance. Oh. Kung loyalty ang isgutan, daghang kumpanya di ang loyal ka. Kada ding na, 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 na pingkoy nga uh, media network, pagka-loyal sa ilang mga naparot ng wala trabaho. Hantod ka ron, gina. Ah, nangya po. Hantod mamatay sila, kapamilya ko. <laughs> loyalty is good. At daghan na sa kalibutan. But that is not the kind of loyalty that we are talking about. When you are loyal, automatically you are obedient, automatically you are dedicated, automatically you are committed, automatically you are humble. There's no pride of life here. There's no pride of life. That's why I'm, the sun is the standard. Dere, wala, basta na na sa third level, walay katungod ng malain ang bisan kin sa dere. Ako lang ang dunay katungod malain. Nga naman, kung malain ko ang akong kalain espiritual. Dili ko malain kung way mga, kung ay mga, ya, kung way mga yawa. Basta na yawa, malain ako. Pero basta ikaw, karnal ka, basta na yung pagkamatarong, malain ka na. Basta na yung sa Espiritu, gubaon ni mo. Ano? Baligtad. Baon ang dunay away sa Espiritu. Continue. Verse 23, Meekness. Meekness. What is meekness? I don't own anything in this world. It's all given to me and entrusted to me. And any time, the owner can get it back. If I cannot be trusted, the owner can get it back. Because it is his. Everything I have is not mine. It's only entrusted to me. And I will use it according to the will of the one who gave it to me. The owner. So there is no, in the kingdom, there is no territorial spirit. There is no territorial spirit. When you belong to a department, the department is not yours. You're just the head there. Anytime the father can take that away from you, you cannot be trusted. That's not yours. Don't act as if it is your own. We are all owned by the father. That is meekness. Anytime he can get out my life, anytime he can get me, anytime he can get your children, sons and daughters, anytime you can die. And you are only there as a trusted one to produce the fruit, to give glory to the Father. And you don't cling to that and be territorial and then like other workers that I have uh, sent abroad. Ako yung ipadala sa Hong Kong. Kadugo yan? Wala na yung ibang worker dawato niya dito. Insecure na siya pagka adtoon ang, yang, ang, ang lugar niya. Ministro siya sa Hong Kong. Di nakatungkuman dito. Malain na siya basta na ang ibang worker. Kay Murag, yung itagiya sa bulaton sa Hong Kong. Di ay kay na siya motibong lain. O, oh, di gikuha siya sa mahan, asa pa man siya ron. Alimang ka, wala na worker makato dito? Malain siya, basta na worker, muhawa siya. That's not the kingdom way. Kingdom way is, we are all involved in producing fruits. We are all brothers and sisters with one goal. Amen. To please the Father. It's not pleasing to the Father. 
So, what is pleasing to the Son is pleasing to the Father. That's why the Son is the definition of the Father's will on earth. Without the Son, everybody can interpret about the Father's will. Everyone. That's why we, we have many denominations that interpret salvation according to them. This is what is uh, presented to them according to me. This is what Jesus Christ is about. This is what His Word is about. And then they hide His Word. They twist this word. And people are confused. And people are deceived. They don't know where to go. They have a longing in their hearts, but they cannot find the truth. Because the truth is twisted, sometimes covered, sometimes it is made into deception. That's why he has to produce a son. A son that will define who the father is. A son that he can trust that will not twist his word, cover up his words, or put aside his words. They must be obeyed. They must be fulfilled as he said them 2,000 years ago. And I have to become his fulfillment. I have to become his manifestation. So if you please me, my my, my, my being pleased is not carnal. My being pleased is not tauhanun. You cannot please me with tauhanun things. You can only please me. You want to please me? You want me to be very close to you? You grow up to become like me in obedience, in repentance, in loyalty, in long-suffering, in dedication, in commitment, 